Hi, this is Mandy with Scholarway Marketing, and today I would like to show you how to create an email list. It's a list of contacts that you would like to send an email campaign to through command. The one I'm going to show you today is for using command email through command. So over here on the left-hand side, we'll choose Campaigns tab. From the top, let's choose Emails so that we'll go and view our email campaigns dashboard here. And on the right, choose Email Lists. Now you can see we've already selected that we're going to be using Command Email. There is another way to create email list for MailChimp if that's how you would choose to send your email campaign out through Command. However, today's purposes is for Command Email. So we'll keep that selected there. And on the right hand side, choose Create List. Go ahead and give your list a name, whatever helps you remember who these contacts are. Let's say we're going to send out um, a campaign to our family members. It's good to always make them megaphones for your business. They can be your best raving fans. So we'll go ahead and make that our name for today. And then for adding contacts to this email list, you can search them by their name and by email right here using this field. However, it may be a little quicker to go ahead and actually pull them in by tags. So if you've organized your contacts in your contacts database here within command using your tags, this is a quick way to add them. So you can search through, you can click as many tags as you would like and also deselect them here as well. You can notice in real time that your contacts are um, populating over here as you select those tags. Now, if you do scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice a load more option. It only loads a few tags at a time. So you can choose load more if you need to and can continue scrolling through those. Again, notice load more if you need to. Now, once you've selected the tags that you would like, all of your contacts for those tags will be listed here. And you can choose as many as you would like. You can also deselect them if you would like. But to select all, please know that only 100 contacts will show here initially. You will want to scroll down and choose a load more button here if you are working with more than 100 contacts. Each time you click load more, it will load 100 more contacts into this view, similar to how we just saw it with the tags that we needed to load more each time to view more and more. So you can continue to click load more to add those additional 100, depending on how many contacts you're working with. Now that we have all of ours here, we can scroll back up to the top and click select all. On the right hand side, you can even double check yourself right there to see we have 37 contacts selected. Now, do know that if those contacts do not have a primary email address on file within the contacts tab, they will not appear here in this list to choose even if they have the tags that you had selected. Okay, they do have to have a primary email address on file to be able to show up right here. So once you have selected the contacts that you want to be added to this email list, simply hit confirm. Oh, I already have one with that name. So let me go ahead and let's just make this one say family. There we go. And click confirm. And you'll see our list is created right here at the top, shows you how many contacts you have on that list. And on the right hand side, you can always come in here, choose the pencil to edit this list at any time, adding or removing contacts. And you can also choose the trash can right here if you do want to delete that email list at any time. If you have any questions about this at all or run into any issues when you're trying to create your email lists, please feel free to reach out to us at support at Scott Lor roymarketing.com and we'll be happy to see how we can assist you further. Thanks for watching.